Hello and welcome to episode 2 of this set of tutorials on using Dreamweaver CS4 to create a simple website. Okay, now we're ready to start building uh, or start adding our pages into our uh, local root folder or into our site. Now before you uh, just jump in here, I recommend you do a little bit of planning. So for instance, you might grab a, a sheet of paper here and um, just draw a simple diagram like this. I can see I've made a little spelling mistake here. Um, and draw a simple diagram like this that lets you sort of map out the documents that you think you're going to need. So for instance, <clears throat> for the little uh, sort of basic uh, classroom website that I'm going to create, Initially, I'm just going to start with these six pages. So I've got an index page, which is the page that your visitors are going to see first. So I've got that. And then I've got just five other of my top level pages, a page for my calendar, a page to hold any documents that I want to make available to my students and their parents, a page that lists all the assignments that I've done or maybe gives details about assignments, a page to contact me on, and a page just about my teaching philosophies. So I'm just going to make this simple uh, simple site stru structure. Now I recommend that when you first sit down and start planning your website that you draw this diagram out in as detailed um, way as you can. For instance, uh, if I have a lot of uh, assignments that I want to give details on, I probably need more than one page. So I might add pages that are in the same category as assignments or sub pages in the assignment pages category. So I would just list those right there underneath the, um, the assignments uh, page so that you'd go to the index page maybe. Your visitor would come in, they'd go to the index page, they'd want to see your assignment so they'd click on a link and they'd come to this page. And maybe on this page you know you had a whole list of assignments uh, that you had created pages for to give more details on, maybe they are web quests, um, any, I don't know. And so you might have another set of pages down here um, that then they would click and, and go to. So you want all I'm worried about is, um, or what I'd recommend is you create this planning document in as much detail uh, as you can. All right, let me jump back over to Dreamweaver now. Um, because before I can go any further, these pages or those documents need to exist. So for each page you saw uh, on my little diagram there, I need one HTML file. So each HTML file relates directly to one page on your website. So I'm going to add those in here now. <clears throat> so the way, I do, do, the way I create a new file here is I'm going to select my top folder there, my site folder, that's just the outside folder, the root folder, everything else for this website is going to be inside of there. So I select that and if, I, I'm, if I'm on a uh, PC I'm going to right click on that. If I'm on a Mac I'm going to control click. I get a little menu up and the very first entry there is new file and that goes in Then I just need to type in my name. So this first one is going to be the index and I need to make sure I get .html on the end and just push uh, re enter and that one is set. So I'm going to select the top folder again, control click, new file. Uh, I'm going to put the calendar in, .html. Let me just drop these in quick. So I'm right clicking or control clicking, choosing new file. <clears throat> so I'm going to have a total of um, six here. Uh, when I'm finished for this website and I can put in, you know, I can add them all in now or if I need I discover I need some uh, additional pages later, I can come and add those in as well. Uh, anytime I need a new page, I can come here and do this exact same thing to create a new page. Uh, now while I'm doing this, um, sort of the process that I'm going to go through is I'm going to create all these pages and then I'm going to create a page that uh, then I'm going to start uh, designing what my website's going to look like. I better only do one thing at a time. Okay, so uh, let's see. That looks like it. So I've got six pages in there. <clears throat> now those pages exist. They're blank. If I want to look at one of them, I just double click on it. It opens up over here um, and I can see there's just a blank page. 
um, ready for me to start doing my layout on or creating the structure for my page. And I'll do, I'll, we'll start doing that in the next episode um, of this tutorial. Let me close that up here quick. Um, now, uh, these are the, the six pages that I, I know that I'm going to need. I'm going to add one more into here and just call it a uh, mock-up. And I'm going to use this page, uh, this document, this file, to sort of like scratch paper. I'm going to use it to do my layout on. Once my layout is finished, the structure, how I want my pages to, to be structured, I'm going to take that and turn it into a template and use the template to get that structure, that design, or that layout onto all the other pages of my website. Once I have that template created, I can come back and delete this mock-up page. So not really necessary, just um, uh, just a, a page for me to design on. Okay, now, uh, if I had a website with 60 or 70 pages, this big long list of pages here would get too long and sort of too cumbersome to work with. So I am going to create a folder and put these HTML files inside of a folder. So when I'm not working on them, I can twirl the folder up and I don't have to see all these files. So I'm going to go back up to my site folder, select the top there, and again I'm going to right click or control click, and this time choose a folder. So all a folder is is just a container that I can store other things in. So I've named that folder HTML and then I can drag and drop these files into that folder. And each time I do that, Dreamweaver is going to want to update uh, the links to those files. So there's obviously no links to them yet, but this is Dreamweaver trying to keep track of where your stuff is because it needs to help you. It's helping you make it, it's going to help you make links between these pages eventually uh, for your navigation. And Dreamweaver is trying to help us to keep our links accurate and not broken. So you could drag these individually. I'm going to um, select calendar and hold down the shift key and select the bottom one. You can see I've left out index and I did that on purpose. We'll talk about that in just a minute. So I can get those all selected. So again, how I got that whole list selected is I selected the top one. I hold down the shift key while I s click on the bottom one. And then I sort of let go of the shift key and everything stays selected. And then I can come up and click and drag all of these at the same time. And Dreamweaver, of course, wants to update again. It's keeping track of where they are. And so now I have all of those HTML files inside their own folder. So that when I don't need to see that all that stuff, I can twirl that folder up. And let me press this refresh button up here to let it res resort these. So I've got my two folders, my HTML folder and my images folder and my index is sitting out there. Now the reason I left the index sitting out there is when, we when we're when we finished and ready to publish this, when I uh, upload all these files to a web host or to a web server, um, when somebody types in the URL of your website, the web server is programmed to look for the index and send the index back first. So that's your home page. You don't want to name it home.html because the web server is not looking for that. The web server is looking for the index.html. And it can look inside your root folder, but it can't look inside of any subfolders. So we, we leave that index out there. It's, it's called being at the root level, meaning it's inside the root folder, but it's not inside of any other subfolders. And I can tell that because when I toggle the HTML down, I can see those files are inside the HTML folder, toggle it up. When I toggle the images folder down, and when both of those subfolders are toggled up or closed, excuse me, that index file is sitting out there. And in the next tutorial, we will start putting together the layout or the structure of our site.